but today I am trying to make it up to y'all. Today I am bringing you a review of a court of thorns and roses. Never mind, my tongue is going to be very twisted today because this book's titles are long. Okay, so let's just move on. <laughs> I have a court of a court of thorns and roses and a court of mist and fury. Now I I pondered trying to do this videos and two different videos but because the new book comes out on May the 2nd if Amazon's to be believed of this year I just wanted to give you some sort of a run-up um, so that you have time to read this too before May 2nd comes around and the third one a court of wings and ruling I know the title is not very uplifting but I'm sure it's going to be just amazing the start of this series is a Court of Thorns and Roses. This is by Sarah J. Mass, who's also the author of the uh, the Throne of Glass series. I just had a, a fast kind of moment in there. And other than the covers being amazing, all both of them, and the third one as well, because Fair looks amazing in the third one, the story in this one is also very gripping. The first one is a retelling of the Beauty and the Beast, which is also kind of very good in this time because we all know that there's a new Beauty and the Beast movie coming out. But let me stop my sidetracking and just get down to it. So this book follows Fair. Fair is a human. She is just the star of her own family. She She's become her family's own supporter. She has two sisters that just do not want to accept the fact that they are in ruin and she has a father that also does not want to accept that he's in ruin. He's at the moment not his self because he's lost the ability to walk like a normal person due to the fact that he could not pay his debts and the debt the debt collectors just collected in blood in his case so they're pretty much all dependent on what fair hunts what fair looks for what fair trades it's all her she has to take care of three people that should not be her that should be her carers. They're all older than her. They're all her um, the people that she looks after. So her family unit is completely screwed up, to be fair. So one day she finds uh, something in the forest that she thinks it might not be entirely animal and it might be something that comes from the lands of the fairies that they live fairly close to but then no one ever has dared to come inside and never has come back from. So she hunts this wolf this very big wolf that she looks at and it it doesn't look like a regular one uh, so she uses a special arrow and kills him and sell the pel sells the pelts and all the meat and she's she thinks they're all set for winter after this she's very happy that she was able to grab this game for her um and then here comes tamlin tamlin is the lord of the spring court and he swipes her out challenging a dead and saying that because she killed one of his subjects then she now must give a life for a life um she goes to the spring court she's not a she's a guest or her soul they tell her but everything in the spring court is sort of very bad they all have masks they all have a curse they are not allowed to tell her what it is and she later finds out that She's the only person that can save them and the the person that's going to cost it the most. So this is, without giving it too much away, A Court of Thorns and Roses. It's a, it's a story about love and about distrust and about all kinds of things that most readers, I think, could relate to just because there's so many deceived but so many wonderful, very complex characters that are very, very good to read about and that pull you right into the story. Sarah J. Mass just completely did one beautifully, just as she's done with Throne of Glass series, only I think this is my favorite one of them all. That particular book, however, is not my favorite. This one is. And enter A Court of Mist and Fury. Now, you might want to pause this right here, read the book, because there's going to be spoilers about this one as I speak. So pause, go read it, come back to it. You have been warned. <laughs> a Court of Mist and Fury is a continuation of A Court of Thorns and Roses. Why? Because 
in here we already know who Risen is. And um, Risen is pretty much the Jamie of the fantasy world. In the case that Jamie could have existed, but half fey hybrid, who's actually the most powerful lord of all Perinthian, might be a little bit of a stretch. But in my mind, he lives. Anyways, in this book, Fair is completely broken because of what happened. You're going to know who Amarantha is, and you're gonna know that she's a bitch and has everything coming. Part of my French. But. Afterwards, after you see Amarantha dead and after you see what she's done, you realize that Fair has scars that are beyond the skin and that she and Tamlin have differences now that they didn't have before. She can see things more clearly and at the same time she's she's stuck in a place she can't get out of. She's afraid of anything and everything and she keeps relieving those months under the, mouth, the mountain and um, it's very, it's very hard for her to come out of her. She doesn't have any help. All the help she has is cuddling her and nobody is actually doing anything for her. And so her wedding day comes and she realizes that there's just not something that she wants to do. Enter, ta-da, Risen. She has a, a debt to him in a, in a way. They have an agreement that she's to spend a certain amount of time with him out of every month, a week out of every month. He, she's to spend in the night court and she's not expecting this to happen he's not arrived he's not arrived before that time there's been three months in her life that he's not arrived at all and she feels the pool within her but she cannot feel him anymore and she believes that this is because of the bond that they have the deal that they made that she can completely feel him throughout the book you'll see that this is not at all the case that there's very other things in place and that the bond that they had was the weakest of them all and not at all what you were expecting. Reason's a wonderful character, you're going to meet new wonderful characters in here, but what's most amazing of all is that you think you see Flourish in Fair's character in the first book, but if you thought that was it, then you are going to be in for a very good trip because in A Court of Mist and Fury, Fair is going to kick some major ass. She's still going to be confused, but she's going to own herself to a point that you're going to love her, where in those first chapters you completely hate her. The characters turn, not her, but the circumstances that have put her in that position, at least myself. So without spoiling anything else, I'm going to shut up now and let you guys go read those books. If you needed a recommendation, please go ahead and take this one. You will not regret it. I know it's YA. The second book is a little bit raised so I would definitely do 16 and above for that one. That's just my recommendation. But I read books like those when I was 12. So, you know, kind of play by ear, okay? It's just your personal experience and my trying to warn you that there's some very adult language and adult, um, you know, you'll know what I mean when I say adult, okay? <laughs> I hope you do. Anyways, I really recommend them. They're very good. The other ones, it's about to come out. And if you're a normal person and not like me who needs to read them cover to cover in the spans of a night, then you should have enough time so that when May 2nd around, comes around, you're already ready for the third one. Okay, that's all. I'm gonna stop my rambling now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, leave me in the comments what you're reading too. I'd love to know. I have a TBR that's bigger than life, but what else is new? And uh, stay tuned for the other audio reviews or just go to the audio review channel if you like to hear this one because suppo I'm supposed to be uploading them both at the same time. Also, I should have a little bit more time in the coming months to actually be doing some reviews as I go. And hopefully I'll have some good news in about a month or so. Yes, I'm keeping this secret. Okay, I hope you have a good day. Just keep reading. Leave me a comment down below and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.